So I want to give you two rules that we're going to use to find limits. Um, and then all the other rules kind of are based off of this. So one of the rules says, if you're looking at a limit, as X is approaching some constant or finite number A of a constant C, this is gonna give us back the constant C. Okay, so let's just look at what that means. We've looked at these graphically. So if we had, let's say F of X is equal to, let me put up here, C equals a constant. So if we had F of X equals a constant, just some number, so maybe F of X is equal to three. Another way to write that, remember, is another, is y equals three. So if you recall, the graph of y equals a constant is a horizontal line through that number. And so in this case, y equals three, we're gonna just go up three and it's a horizontal line through three. And this is what the graph looks like. And so if we choose any value of x, um, so we're just arbitrarily called it A. So let's say A is here. And we were looking at what was happening as we get closer and closer to A on the left and the right. We really wanna see what's happening to our Y value. Well, isn't that Y value staying the same anywhere on, um, on this line? It is. And so this is why we can say that the limit as X approaches some finite value A of a constant is always gonna equal that constant. Okay, so the other rule of limits is let's say we have the limit as X is approaching again A of the function y equals x. So the limit as x approaches a of x. Well, this is just equal to a. And again, if we think about the graph of this, so f of x equals x, or another way to write this is x, uh, y equals x. If you look at the graph of that, that's just a line that's diagonal that goes through the origin and whatever value you plug in for X, you get the same value back for Y. And so if I choose any place on this X axis where, um, so let's say A is here, and we went up and we were trying to figure out what is happening to the Y value as we're getting closer and closer to X equals A. Just want a different color. So following the graph on the left and the right of x equals a, the y value that we're getting closer and closer to is also a. And so here is another rule of limits that is going to help us. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some limit laws. Let me just scroll down on the page. I'm not gonna write them out. They're all there for you guys to pull, pull up on your course canvas page. Okay, so I pulled down these limit laws and the basic limit laws we just looked at. If C is a constant, then the limit as X approaches A of C equals C. And then we saw that the limit as X is approaching a of x is also equal to a. And so we have some more. Uh oh. And then we're taking the limit as X approaches A of the sum of those two functions. 
then we can say this is the same thing as the limit of the first function plus the limit of the second function. So technically, this is going to help us if we have a polynomial. Let's say you have a x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, that's a polynomial. You can break that down. x squared is a simple, just polynomial itself. That whatever, I don't remember what I said, 2x is also a polynomial and one is also a poly polynomial. So we can break it down and look at it as three separate limits and use our limit laws to help us. And we're gonna show limit laws um, with an example, but then we're gonna kind of sail past it with direct substitution. Uh, professor? Yes. Um, just a second ago, right after you said number two, you completely cut out and your video like disappeared. So I have no idea what you're saying right now. Okay, awesome. Thank you for stopping me. Because I can see myself. Uh, let me just stop recording. 